Namaste to all of you all. I'm Anvi. Welcome back to my channel Soul Source. Today I'm going to be talking about a book which literally changed my understanding of the current political scenario in India and also my understanding about my own country's history, culture and philosophy. This is a book called Avarana by the Kannada novelist S.L. Bhairappa. This is the English translation by Sandeep Balakrishna. And this book was published in February of 2007 and it kind of created a record of sorts by being sold out even before its release. And within five months of its publication, it went through 10 reprints. One of the first things that struck me when I was reading this book was that how little I knew of my own history. It was astounding that there were so many things which was unknown to me, which wasn't taught to me in school and or in college. And it was just really annoying, to be honest. And I think it's a fact with our generation. We are not very much in touch with our history and our identity. And again, if you have watched my previous videos, I have stated this fact elsewhere as well. Just because you know your own history and you are assertive and you stand up for yourself and your identity, it doesn't mean that you're preaching hate towards someone else or another community, which is often the case with today's political dialogue that is happening in India. People usually misunderstand your assertiveness to be your uh, aggression, which I think is not the case at all, at least most of the times. Many of the things that happen in the book happen today as well. The narrative is almost the same. It's only that the incidents and the circumstances that are shown in the book are different from what is happening today. There is a very interesting saying which is used in the book, which translates to the suppression of truth is the suggestion of falsehood. So I'm not going to be talking too much about the plot of the book as such, because I really feel that every one of us should pick it up and have a read. But in gist, so this book is about a Hindu woman called Lakshmi who falls in love with a Muslim man and converts, calls herself as Razia and gets married to him. She kind of has a fallout with her father and they don't speak for years and later on she discovers his research where she unearths so many things about the history and the culture and all the incidents that until then had been unknown to her. There is a scene in the book where Razia attends a theatre show and the way in which the actors in the theatre show present the religion of Hinduism is startlingly similar to all the narratives that are, you know, being uh, piled upon by the extreme left even today. And unfortunately, most of these narratives are being continued to be painted by those who do not have a very good understanding of the region, the religion, the culture and its history. It's like the watered down version, which is used to form opinions. And to be honest, I think the biggest tragedy is that we Hindus ourselves are so much unaware and so not in touch with our history and culture. I think nowadays most of us depend on these WhatsApp forwards and we kind of blindly trust each forward to be completely true and we assume that that is exactly what had happened. Which I think is a little childish to be honest. I think we all need to do our own bit of research and our own bit of study into all of these things. Now at the heart of it, the book kind of reflects on the brutality and the violence that I think each human is capable of in the name of religion. It's like one universal wound and every time an incident happens, it is kind of teased and the blood oozes out all over again. I think it is very safe to say that today in India, more youth is engaged with the political discourse than ever before. And I think whether you belong to the left wing or the right wing or the center or whatever it is, it is extremely important for each person to take a stand and contribute to what is happening in the country. And again, as I said, there is no greater basis for humanity to function upon than the foundation of the present. But I think we kind of tend to forget that the present is nothing but the result of the past. And if you're going to forget the past and you know turn a blind eye to it and try to move forward, we are kind of cheating ourselves. We are disrespecting ourselves and our own identity and our own history. Being progressive, liberal or open-minded or woke shouldn't come at the cost of losing one's own self-respect, dignity, and individuality. The word Avarana literally means to cover something. As the title of the novel itself very delicately suggests, the different ways in which this word 
comes forth. So for me, after finishing the novel, its meaning became evident in so many various ways and in symbolic ways. So in the beginning, it was about the protagonist converting to Islam for love. It was the wheeling of aspects of history which do not sit comfortably with us and which is highlighted throughout the novel. It is the covering up of her husband's feelings for her when her ideologies begin changing and began clashing with him. There is a very interesting talk by the author of the novel where he tells his experience in which he kind of sat on the education board in India and I don't really remember the exact year but I'm going to link the talk below and please please do go have a listen to it and so basically he was on this committee and uh, he kind of raised his opinions and his concerns about why the history of India was being watered down and whitewashed and literally he was removed from the committee and this kind of gives us a peep into the kind of wheeling of our own history that our country has seen unfortunately and to be honest personally I'm really happy that the youth of our country is waking up now and I really really hope that we can go back to our roots, reclaim our roots and just be ourselves and be proud of it. I'm going to link the book as well in the description. Please let me know if you have read the book. Um, as I said I'm not going to talk too much about the plot but yes there is one more thing which I want to say. There is a story within the story in the novel and I think a lot of critics kind of were lukewarm about it but personally I really enjoyed it a lot and I would love to hear what you thought about it, about the story, about what you learned from it and the form of the novel. Please comment below and I would love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care.